Weekly Robot News. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news robotics. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the robotic tech world. From a brand new emotional android kid, state-of-the-art soft robot materials, and advances in prosthetics, all the way to robots that check your blood pressure, giraffe-inspired robots, and even shapeshifters. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right to it. Highlights of the week. Introducing Nikola, the emotional android kid. Researchers from the Riken Guardian Robot Project in Japan have made an android child named Nikola that successfully conveys six basic emotions. The new study published in Frontiers in Psychology tested how well people could identify six facial expressions happiness, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust, which were generated by moving muscles in Nicola's face. This is the first time that the quality of Android expressed emotion has been tested and verified for these six emotions. Rosie the Robot Maid was considered science fiction when she debuted on the Jetsons cartoon over 50 years ago. Although the reality of the helpful robot is currently more science and less fiction, there are still many challenges that need to be met, including being able to detect and express emotions. The recent study led by Wataru Sato from the Riken Guardian Robot Project focused on building a humanoid robot, or android, that can use its face to express a variety of motions. The result is Nikola, an android head that looks like a real hairless boy. Typically, studies of emotions, particularly how people react to emotions, have a problem. It's difficult to do a properly controlled experiment with live people interacting, but at the same time, looking at photos or videos of people is less natural, and reactions aren't the same. The hope is that with androids like Nikola, we can have our cake and eat it too, says Sato. We can control every aspect of Nikola's behavior and at the same time study live interactions. The first step was to see if Nikola's facial expressions were understandable. A person certified in FACS scoring was able to identify each facial action unit, indicating that Nikola's facial movements accurately resemble those of a real human. A second test showed that everyday people could recognize the six prototypical emotions happiness, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust in Nikola's face, albeit to varying accuracies. This is because Nikola's silicone skin is less elastic than real human skin and cannot form wrinkles very well. Thus, emotions like disgust were harder to identify because the action unit for nose wrinkling could not be included. Latest extremely useful soft robot material. Imagine a small autonomous vehicle that could drive over land stop and flat itself into a quadcopter. The rotor starts spinning and the vehicle flies away. Looking at it more closely, what do you think you would see? What mechanisms have caused it to morph from a land vehicle into a flying quadcopter? You might imagine gears and belts, perhaps a series of tiny servo motors that pulled all its pieces into place. If this mechanism was designed by a team at Virginia Tech, led by Michael Bartlett, assistant professor in mechanical engineering, you would see a new approach for shape changing at the material level. These researchers use rubber, metal, and temperature to morph materials and fix them into place with no motors or pulleys. The team's work has been published in Science Robotics. Novel wearable armband helps prosthetic users. Typing on a keyboard, pressing buttons on a remote control, or braiding a child's hair has remained elusive for prosthetic hand users. With current microelectric prosthetic hands, users can only control one grasp function at a time even though modern artificial hands are mechanically capable of individual control of all five digits. A first-of-its-kind study using haptic slash touch sensation feedback, electromyogram, EMG, control, and an innovative wearable soft robotic armband could be just be a game-changer for users of prosthetic hands who have long awaited advances in dexterity. Findings from the study could catalyze a paradigm shift in the way current and future artificial hands are controlled by limb-absent people. Robots that check your blood pressure. Empowering small, humanoid-sensing robots to take a patient's blood pressure using only a simple touch is Simon Fraser University researcher Wu Su Kim's latest healthcare technology development. Based on the intricities of origami and inspired by the movements of nature's leeches, his research is advancing how robots could carry out basic healthcare tasks in certain conditions, including in remote regions or where minimal personal contact is needed such as during pandemics. The research is published in the journal NPJ Flexible Electronics from Nature Publishing Group. 
Kim and researchers have replaced the traditional blood pressure procedure by replicating the folding mechanisms of the leech into the design of 3D printable origami sensors. The leech-inspired origami LIO, sensors can be integrated onto the fingertips of a humanoid sensing robot. Our origami-inspired dry electrode has unique characteristics such as suction for grasping and foldability inspired by nature, says Kim. In keeping with nature, we saw that in addition to the complex mechanisms of a leech's adhesive feature, these creatures have an expandable posterior sucker and body, while its organs expand and shrink appropriately to maintain better adhesion to its victim. Incorporating this point of view, we found that origami can achieve similar motions and also be customized. Top half of a robot giraffe. When we think about flexibility in bio-inspired robots, the best examples can usually be found in soft robots that mimic octopus arms or elephant trunks, which have some very unique capabilities. But most animals are soft and flexible to some extent, just typically coupled with a rigid interior structure. It's a complex arrangement, albeit one with some significant advantages in power and control. Researchers at the Tokyo Institute of Technology have been experimenting with mimicking what is arguably one of the most impressive combinations of flexibility and power in the animal kingdom, the neck of a giraffe. Giraffe necks can weigh up to 150 kilograms and be 2 meters long, but they've evolved to be bendy and strong, not just to get those tasty, high-growing leaves, but also because male giraffes battle each other with their necks, occasionally to the death. What better inspiration for designing large robots, right? The robotic giraffe neck does its best to mimic the structure of an actual giraffe neck. The paper includes a photo of the partially dissected neck of a real giraffe, with vertebrae and tendons arranged similarly, and thin McKibben pneumatic artificial muscles providing contracting forces the same way the real muscles do. It's complicated, but it enables a significant amount of flexibility. Shape-shifting robots adapt with bodies and grippers. Robots have all kinds of ways to change their shapes, in the sense that you can use rigid components along with actuators to design a robot that can go from one shape to another. Such a system is inevitably highly complex, though, and typically requires a lot of mass, plus a lot of energy to switch to and then maintain the shape that you'd like it to. This week, we saw a couple of papers highlighting different shape-shifting robotic systems that rely on clever origami-inspired designs to rapidly change between different configurations, getting the maximum amount of usability out of the minimum amount of hardware. One of the papers, Shape Morphing Mechanical Metamaterials Through Reversible Plasticity, from researchers at Virginia Tech and published in Science Robotics, demonstrates a composite material that's able to transition from a flat sheet to a complex shape using a phase-changed metal skeleton for switchable rigidity. The material is made of an elastometer with a pattern of cuts in it, an origami-like technique called kirigami, which uses cuts instead of folds that determines what shape the elastometer deforms into. Sandwiched inside the elastometer sheet is a skeleton made of a metal alloy that melts at 62 degrees Celsius, along with a flexible heating element. Heating the skeleton to the point where it liquefies allows the sheet to deform, and then it freezes again when the skeleton cools off and solidifies, a process that can take a few minutes. But once it's done, it's stable until you want to change it again. The heating still brings everything back to normal, a little more slowly, but by integrating a pneumatically actuated membrane within the material, you can introduce pressurized air and get it to rapidly pop into shape in a fraction of a second. With that, we end today's dose of our weekly updates. Join in next time for more of such exciting news happenings from the robotic world.